Hey everybody, Matt Direct Card, Curriculum Director for MS8046. Thank you for watching this. This is just going to be a very quick tutorial of two different ways in which you can do screencasting. One way is going to be synchronous or live, so you can be in the middle of something and sharing it with your with your students, meaning you can share your screen, they can see what's on um, your screen live. The other way is asynchronous. So if you wanted to record something ahead of time to show them how to do something. Um, the first way that I'm going to share with you how to do it is through a program that I'm sure that many of you are becoming more familiar with, especially as we're going through this remote learning and distance learning experiences, is through Zoom. And Zoom is a fantastic, easy to use um, platform. And one of the things that Zoom allows you to do and I'm hoping you can see this on your end, is if you can, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the screen right now. And that's what you do. What you do when you are, you will have a, uh, you'll be able to have a menu on the bottom of your um, toolbar for when you're doing a Zoom session, and it'll say you'll be able to share screen, and you can choose what it is, and what anyone can do, any participant can see what's on your screen at that particular time. So if you wanted to take your students through a Google search, say, of um, coronavirus, then they can see everything of what is coming up for you. They can see it, and it's easy as that. Now I'm gonna keep this open. So that's a way to do synchronous. If you are in the middle of a, if you're holding a meeting, if you're holding a conference, if you're in the middle of bringing your students together, and you wanna show them how to do something live in the moment, you're using Zoom, that's one way. There's a function right there at the bottom in the menu as you're doing it that says share screen and you can share it with them live. Okay, but what if you wanted to record something? What if you wanted to do something on your own time and then share it out and put it on say a Google Classroom? Pretty easy to do. You one, you can also use Zoom for this. Um, you can record through Zoom and it'll download. You can do a screen share just, so, just like I just showed you. And then you'd be able, then what you'd have to do then is upload it to YouTube or to your Google Classroom or wherever it might be. Not a problem. Another tool you can use is one that's probably already embedded onto your MacBooks, which you already have, and that's called QuickTime. And what you can do is, I have it on my dock right here, it's called the QuickTime Player. The other thing you can do is come on up to your Finder, go to your Applications, and scroll down and find it. It should be there, QuickTime Player. If it's not, contact the tech department and They'll see if we can get it on your uh, lap laptops, MacBooks, et cetera. And so you just double click or open up your QuickTime player if it'll respond for me, thank you very much. And what's happening here is you come up, it comes up with you know, your general um, opening, whatever it's going to be. So there's my applications, et cetera. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to file and it gives you three options for recording. New movie, new audio, new screen. And those are exactly what they say. A new movie is just like this, you're creating a, a video recording. An audio is just your voice. But a screen recording does exactly what we, what we thought it would do, which is you're gonna record part of your screen. It will give you a highlighted area of your screen that you can record and you choose that. And then down here, when you're ready to go, once you've figured out what you're gonna you capture the entire screen, a selected window, a selected portion, et cetera, you have other little options of what you can do. What, what, if you have multiple microphones, et cetera, and when you're ready to go, you press record. Now, what happens next is if you wanted to share those things out, like I said, you'd have to then upload it to your Google Drive um, or directly to Google Classroom and they would be able to see how that works. If you don't have either of those, which you have Google Drive, but if you wanted to put it on like say a YouTube channel, you could do that too and just upload it to your YouTube channel from there. Very quick, very easy way, a couple of quick ways to how to share your screens in a synchronous and an asynchronous format. There are lots of other ways to do it, but those are two tools. Zoom can do both, both synchronous and asynchronous, and QuickTime Player, which is also a function or an application on your MacBooks that can make sync, uh, asynchronous, which is not live. Okay, if you have any questions, give me a holler, and I'm happy to help you out. Good luck.